Hello guys, we are the BIT Students Physician Society. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Iman. I'm Kiara. I'm Caitlin. And in today's video, we're going to be telling you guys all about the GEM program, what it entails and how to get in. We'll also be sharing our stories and the journey we took to get into medicine. Okay, before we start, we just want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. We are just students at the university, so please fact check everything we say with the website. So what the GIMP program is, is you have to have completed an undergraduate degree of study. Um, and within that undergraduate degree, you have to have taken English, Maths and Science. And in the last two years of study, you have to have a minimum of 60% in those last two years of study. And basically what happens is you get into third year of medicine, so MBBCH3, and you have four years to complete your uh, medical degree. So applications for the GEM program open on the 1st of March every year and close on the 30th of June. So basically when you want to apply, you will select medicine and you will choose year three of study. So after you've applied, if you've met the minimum requirements, they'll send you an invitation to write the WAPT. So the WAPT is the VITS additional placement test. So this is just a test to see if you have the knowledge to get into medicine. So you'll write three different exams. It's physiology, molecular medicine, and anatomy. So you have to pass each section in order to be considered for the main selection. Yes. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah, it does. If you complete your undergraduate degree at WITS University, you will be given the option to exempt certain subjects from the WAPT exam. For example, if you majored in physiology in your undergraduate degree, you will not need to write the physiology components in the WAPT exam. And that also goes for molecular medicine and anatomy. Okay, so basically the WAPT is a pass or fail exam. And once you have passed the WAPT, then they do look at your composite index score, which basically entails your last two years of study. They combine the average and from there they also look at various other factors such as whether you've had an honours degree or a master's degree for further information regarding the composite index score and kind of how it's calculated either contact WITS admin or go to the WITS website. So the number of available spots in the GEM program will vary from year to year. However, WITS does accept more WITS students than it will external students. For example, 70% of the students accepted into the GEM program will be from WITS and 30% will be from external universities. So if you've studied outside of WITS at any other university, you will need to submit your most recent academic transcripts in your final year of study. Even if you haven't completed it yet, you will send that through. And then once you have um, completed your year of study, and if they are considering you, then you do send your final uh, year transcripts. If you are a WITS student, your latest academic transcript will already be in the system. So there's no need for you to upload any additional information or academic transcripts. For more information on exactly what you need to know for the WAPs, you'll find the objectives on the website, but there are additional resources that you can use. So for example, there is a student-run Telegram group called Am for the WAP. They also have an Instagram and they have tutorials and they post summaries. So if you use their summaries and their resources, it will make studying a whole lot easier than trying to memorize, let's just say, a whole textbook. So as mentioned, my name is Kiara. So the way I got into GIMP was I first did a Bachelor of Science at the University of Pretoria. I did it in genetic psychology and human physiology. My main tips and advice would be not to wait for your invitation to start studying for the WAPT. If you know that you meet the minimum requirements, you will definitely get an invite. So start studying as early as you can. Don't leave studying until the last minute. Try start studying as early as you can. What I used were the summaries from the M for the WAPT Telegram group chat. They really helped me a lot. It basically just summarizes um, the textbook that they give you and it makes studying a lot easier. So the most important thing is that your degree marks are good. So don't neglect your studies just to study for the WAPT because at the end of the day, those last two years marks are really important. So just make sure that you focus on your actual degree. You can always redo the WAPT, but you can't redo your whole degree just to get better marks. So when I was in Pretoria, in Pretoria they have a media transfer and I got rejected from that and watching your friends get into the thing that you want to study can be really discouraging. They also have internal transfers which I was also rejected from so in total I think I've been rejected like six or seven times but don't let it discourage you just keep persevering. If it's what your heart wants and what your heart desires then just keep pushing through eventually it is possible to get there we are all proof that it is possible even after all the rejection just keep on trying 
and just one last thing i want to mention as important as your studies are you are in your youth right now so don't neglect your life prioritize your life don't put plans with your friends on the back burner obviously prioritize your studies but if your friends are going out go out with them your undergrad is going to fly by so quickly enjoy it while you can enjoy your university years hi guys my name is Caitlin slaughter and I completed an undergraduate degree at Wits University in Biological Sciences. I then went on to complete an honours degree in Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. For my honours year, I was placed at the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, where I worked on a project based on drug resistance mutations in HIV-1 patients. So my journey into GEMP has been quite a long one, four years in the making, but my advice to you is if you would like to study medicine do not give up so my tips and tricks would be to appreciate the degree that you are studying learn to love your undergraduate degree because it gives you the foundation that you really need in medicine i think my undergraduate degree and my honors degree have served me well so far in medicine so i do not regret studying both those degree both those degrees so Yes, do not be discouraged. If it is your dream, continue to study and continue to push for it and your dream will be realized. And one of my favorite quotes is, if you miss too much of the journey, you miss too much of the learning. So keep learning and it will all work out. Okay guys, so as previously said, um, my name is Iman Hassam and basically my journey is a little bit different because I didn't do my undergrad in, the, in South Africa. I actually did it in the United States and I went there on a tennis scholarship and I basically studied at the same time so I did an undergraduate degree there it's known as a pre-med degree which is basically a bachelor of science and I majored in biology and I minored in chemistry there while obviously competing and playing sports at the same time. So my undergraduate degree was four years and um, in that fourth year of study, I decided that I wanted to obviously apply for the GEM program because I think it's obviously an amazing opportunity that after doing an undergraduate degree, you do get this opportunity to potentially pursue something that maybe you didn't know that you wanted to do medicine at the beginning. So I think it does give you that window if you maybe started something that you realized as you were doing it, maybe you weren't enjoying it as much. And now with GIMP, you obviously have that opportunity to pursue something different and um, obviously like find a new dream, I guess. So yeah, I think that was really good because I think straight out of high school, a lot of people don't necessarily know what they want to study. So I think the GIMP program definitely does give you that second chance in a sense yeah so some tips that i have like applying obviously from like a different university and one that wasn't in the country is that like don't be discouraged don't think that you can't get in just because you're not applying from a south african university the process is literally exactly the same you submit your transcripts you um, show that obviously you have the three requirements of english maths and science and I, I had to take the WAC because obviously I wasn't a VIT student, so I didn't get exempt from uh, any of the components of the WAC exam. But yeah, I think like really don't be discouraged if you're not necessarily a VIT student. There are, if there are places for other students to get in from external universities. And I think like if you want to do medicine, like I think this is really a good way to get in, like especially if you're one of those people that also applied like for medicine in first year and didn't necessarily get in and felt like quite discouraged i think like really don't feel discouraged because there is another door there is another opportunity and you yeah, never count yourself out because i think it really is possible and if you work hard enough and you study and you put in the hours you'll definitely reap the rewards and i just wanted to say one more thing like don't think that doing an undergrad is not beneficial like whatever you've learned in that undergrad is going to help you in this medical degree and even if you don't necessarily get in now it will help you get in in the future and yeah i mean any knowledge that you've learned can never be a bad thing i think so whether like you've gotten research experience or anything like that like i know caitlin has so I think that is definitely beneficial and it will help you in the long run. And I think it also makes you approach your medical degree what if you do get in in like a completely different light because I think you, you are like quite appreciative because you know the work that you've put in to get there. 
Hello everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm a GIMP 1 student. I completed my degree in Biomedical Health Sciences last year. This was a BHSC and then applied for GIMP and got in. So the process, the way it worked for us, if you decided to go with a BHSC Biomedicine, you got exempted from writing the WAP test. And this is because we did second year physiology, anatomy and molecular medicine with the mainstream medical students. Um, so we did all the content, so we didn't have to study and write the WAP test. Our second year marks were basically what we would have, what we would have done in the WAP test. Um, so if you do decide to go this route, my biggest advice would be make sure that your second year marks are good. Focus really, really hard on those three subjects in second year. Um, and then other tips and advice is to really just try. It can be very stressful when all you want is to get into GIMP. Um, it can be very stressful and you can put a lot of pressure on yourself to do really well. And obviously it is important to do well. Um, but something that really helped me get through was to keep a balanced life. Make sure that I was still doing other stuff besides studying because that really helped me actually maintain my, my marks at a high standard because I was... I was doing sports, I was seeing my friends, I was involved in my church community, in my varsity community. Um, I didn't just work all the time um, because it can become quite all consuming. Um, so that's one of my tips. And yeah, just focus, focus on the end goal. Make sure you know all the work that you're doing now is worth it and is towards your goal of getting into medicine. Um, do things that remind you of why you want to do medicine because I know especially doing a degree not medicine when all you want is to be in medicine it can be it can be challenging because you're like why all I want is medicine I don't want to be sitting here doing this degree I don't want to be doing I don't want to be here I want to be in medicine um so do things that remind you why you want to be in medicine join a society where you can interact with other med kids older med kids hear their stories get get advice from them um join workshops where you can learn nice clinical skills that you'll need in medicine one day and that make you feel like you're in medicine even if you are not yet um and those things that really keep you inspired to keep going um and yeah i wish you all the best and Hope your application processes go well. Thank you guys so much for watching our YouTube video. We hope you enjoyed it. It's you. Why don't you speak? Like, subscribe and comment. And follow us on Instagram. Vits underscore physician underscore sock. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.